Hello and welcome to Prodac Labs. Today we are going to talk about taper lock bush which is this. This is how it looks like. So in today's video we will be talking about how, how are they assembled, where are they used, what is their assembly and disassembly process. So without any further delay let's get started. So here I have a pulley which has a hole at the center and this one is the taper bush bearing. So this can go easily into this because this is a taper hole not a straight hole as you have normally in other pulleys but this one is a taper hole for this one to accommodate like this. So the taper bush bearing comes with three holes one two and three so you can see this is hole. And, and similar to that we have other two one and two here so how do we mount it that's the question here so first we align these ones here with respect to the holes which we make in, into this this hole into the pulley so all of them have to get aligned like this so you can see all of them are aligned here one two three and for that we need to have we need to use grub screws these ones you can see here so just install the grub screws in these those two holes like this and take L and K to tighten them like this so you have to remember that you should not put any grub screw in this one in the third hole uh, while tightening this one what will happen this this taper lock push since it is it has a slot here cut slot here the more we tighten here it will it, it will just go closer and closer and it will just grip the shaft of the motor it will get tightened on that so that's how it will lock the shaft as well as it will lock the it will lock the this this pulley so you can see here if we tighten it So that's how it is locked into the rotating devices. Now it is fixed. I am not tightening it too much otherwise I, it will be difficult for me to pull it out. So in practical in any rotating device we, we have to tighten it slightly more so that it doesn't loosen it up. So that's the way it, it, tight, it is tightened and because of this slot available it just uh, these uh, these uh, this thing comes closer and grips the uh, shaft and when we have to remove it from the from the shaft we have to we have to loosen them and take them out like this and when you take them out the, the pulley will not simply come out because it will already be tightened there so in order to pull it completely out you have to put the screw over here the grub screw and start tightening it so when you tighten it what happens it will push the it will push the taper lock push bearing the push the ends away so it will start opening up so it will the moment it starts opening up it will leave the it will leave the shaft and it will just expand and to leave the shaft so that that's how it will just leave the shaft and you can pull entire assembly away uh, away from the shaft so that's how it is disassembled from the shaft i think uh, the concept of assembly and disassembly uh, 
of this uh, taper lock bush bearing is clear now how we use it and how we assemble it and how we disassemble it from the shafts so it's very uh, unique concept and very unique way of using it we don't have to use any keys or so keys or any such thing and your pulley uh, remains uh, uh, usable always we don't damage the pulleys Thanks guys for being with me in this video. Hope you liked it and the information you found in this video was useful for you. And if you really uh, appreciate our efforts, hit a like button and subscribe it. It will really help us. And also don't forget to leave your comments. It, it helps us to improve our, our uh, quality of uh, contents and uh, through which we can help you even more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.